Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on January 13th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. God bless you all for joining me today, and thank you for joining me. I know it's been a while. Again, I've been so busy I'm getting out videos whenever I can. My only day off this week today. And, of course, what did I catch some beautiful images of chemtrails in our skies here in Calgary, Alberta. It was a beautiful day, Chinook, high pressure ridge. They love to get in there and spray their chemicals in the high pressure ridge. But you can see the difference between a calm trail, a commercial airline trail and also a chemical injection. There's a big difference. Commercial airline trails fade away because it's vapor. Chemicals, when they're sprayed in the atmosphere, they fall, they grow, they get blown around. Our magnetosphere has collapsed. Situation critical. There are extreme events happening across the planet due to it. Changing our jet streams, it's changing extreme weather patterns, it's changing our North Pole, our South Pole. But there's so many things that are affecting it. It's really hard to keep up with everything that's going on. Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, I started this channel two years ago almost. And I wanted to share my research with the world. And it all started with weather. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteor Mike. Cold temps moving into western parts of Canada. Polar vortex stretching down minus 16 temps by the end of the week. Also watching an almost Atlantic storm form head up the eastern seaboard of North America later in the week as well. Also gonna be watching this Alberta Clipper, really high altitude Alberta Clipper, heading across Sorry, I just got a, an update. Uh, Mount St. Helens has gotten an update today. I'm gonna to be looking into that right away. But uh, across the Atlantic provinces, watch for winter storm conditions and also mixed precipitation throughout southeastern United States, straight up the eastern seaboard. Europe has been stuck in this cold and snowy event for about a week now, and it doesn't look like it's gonna go away as one large low pressure system after another comes from the North Pole. Some places reaching all the way down to the Mediterranean. And that's going to be bringing cold temps and snow to northern parts of Africa, believe it or not. Morocco could see snow later in the week. You can see here parts of Russia minus 50 below. Now that's Celsius, folks, minus 50 degrees Celsius. That is cold. That's not including the wind chill. So these polar vortexes swing around the planet, our very round planet. Also watching Pacific Ocean still. Large low pressure system developing one right after another. Watch for another winter storm. Western parts, North America. California mountains, Washington, Oregon, 
Watch for a large winter storm later in the week. Parts of South America still watching extreme deep lower level troughs develop across parts of Buenos Aires, Venezuela. Dry condi conditions persisting, still very warm in Australia. Northern parts of Australia have seen a bit more moisture recently. Also watching already for the monsoon rains to start coming in the next few weeks. But it looks like it could be a very wet one as we're already watching a typhoon form heading towards Manila, Manila, Manila in the Philippines. But again, the big picture in the next week or so across the northern hemisphere, polar vortex, cold temperatures reaching minus 50 and below, minus 55 in some areas. So stay aware and prepared. It's going to get cold and it is winter time, so expect it. But when you have these extreme temperatures with winds, watch out. Looking at the last 24 hours for earthquakes here, latest earthquake here in the Tonga region, shallow earthquake 5.0, but Indonesia has been rocking all week long and over the last 24 hours they've seen some sizable earthquakes 5.1, 4.6, 4.5, 5.0 very busy and most recently Alaska Anchorage Alaska went off again with a 5.0 at a 33 kilometer depth and also today Petrolia California a 4.1 zero kilometer depth So stay aware and, and prepared in our quiet zone. And also some people are saying South America, they could be next for the big one. Also watching this 4.1 in Kashi, China, right beside a 4.4 in Afghanistan there, and also a 4.2 in Poria, Greece. Looking at the last seven days for earthquakes, it's been pretty busy and a lot of deep earthquakes, as well as this swarm in Alaska. But yeah, those large lines, those are showing the depth of the earthquake. One was recorded at almost 700 kilometer depth earlier, a few days ago, Tonga region. It is known for very deep earthquakes there. But this is the last seven days for earthquakes, folks. Stay aware and prepared. Much love to you all, and I want to thank you for watching today. Look for a volcanic activity video coming out tonight. I'm working my butt off here to get a couple videos in, and I'm going to do my best to get the dailies done. So thanks for watching today. Have a plan. Be ready for anything, folks. Much love to you all. We also had this strange earthquake in Canada. It doesn't happen often. In St. John, Canada, it's a 4.3. Or was it? No, 3.8. Sorry, 3.8. So stay aware and prepared, fellow Canadians, Americans, friends and family across the world. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.